and thank you for joining us for another installment of California Employment News, a video and podcast resource from the Labor and Employment Group at Weintraub Tobin to provide you with employment law updates and best practices. My name is Katie Collins, and I'm an associate in the Labor and Employment Group at Weintraub Tobin. Today, our topic is the guidance issued by the United States Department of Labor on February 9th regarding telework under the Fair Labor Standards Act and Family and Medical Leave Act. This guidance provides valuable insight to employers on the DOL's interpretation of various issues, including compensation of teleworking employees under the FLSA, protections for nursing employees when working remotely, and eligibility rules for teleworking employees under the FMLA. The purpose of the new guidance seems to be aimed at reminding employers that employees who telework remain covered by the protections of both the FLSA and the FMLA. The guidance makes clear that regardless of work location, short breaks, which are defined as those 20 minutes or less, generally are counted as compensable hours worked, whereas longer breaks during which an employee is completely relieved from duty and which are long enough to enable the employee to use the time effectively for their own purpose are not hours worked. An example of a longer break would be the teleworking employee who logs out from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. to pick up their children from school and get them situated for the evening, but clocks back in to begin work at 4 p.m. The period between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. would not be considered compensable hours worked under the FLSA because the employee is completely relieved from duty, chooses when to resume work, and is able to effectively use the time for their own purposes. The guidance reminds employers they must pay for all time they know or should know is being worked. This is particularly important for employers who allow teleworking employees to set their own schedules. Employers should have clear policies and procedures in place regarding the accurate recording of all hours worked. The guidance also reiterates the FLSA's requirement that employers provide covered employees reasonable break time for an employee to express breast milk for such employees nursing child for one year after the child's birth and provide a place other than a bathroom that is shielded from view and free from intrusion from coworkers and the public, which may be used by an employee to express breast milk. This protection is extended to teleworking employees, whether the employee is teleworking from their home or another location. This means that regardless of where the employee is working, the employee must have a place to express breast milk that is shielded from view, meaning free from observation by any employer provided or required video system, including a computer camera, security camera, or web conferencing platform when they are expressing breast milk, regardless of the location they are working from. As for the FMLA, the guidance notes that when an employee teleworks, their worksite for FMLA eligibility purposes is the office to which they report or from which their assignments are made. In other words, if 50 employees are employed within 75 miles from the employer's worksite, the location to which the employee reports or from which their assignments are made, the employee meets that FMLA eligibility requirement. California employers should remember that when updated in January of 2021, the California Family Rights Act, also known as the CFRA, removed the requirement that employees work within a 75 mile radius of each other to be covered by the CFRA. As such, the DOL's guidance is specific to those employers subject to the FMLA. As always, when implementing policies, California employers must ensure those policies comply with the federal law, but also with the generally more stringent California law. Well, that's it for today. You can continue to find installments of California Employment News on our blog at www.thelelawblog.com or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. Thanks for joining. See you next time.